Greetings, programs. Hope everybody had a fantastic holiday season and has 2009 off to a good start. Uh, as you can see here, I've moved on from Freespire 2 to Kubuntu 8.1, Intrepid Ibex, and I'm using KDE 4, and I'm really enjoying it. Does some stuff that I couldn't do before, and we're jumping directly into screen capture here because uh, I'm going to need all the real estate I can get in the upcoming Cinelera tutorials. Uh, this is a long overdue request by Water for Fuel H20 on how to do basic editing in Kino. So let's get over here to Kino on desktop 2. And I've got a little video here where we persuaded Aiden to drink coffee and it backfired on us because he liked it. So we're going to edit this. We're going to split it up into scenes, delete the scenes that we don't want to use, keep the scenes we want to use add uh, some effects and some transitions so first thing we're going to want to do here is I have got a few frames of him telling me that he did not go poopy in his diaper and we're going to want to trim that off so we click on the step forward one frame because it's only about three frames and there this is where we actually want to start so we're going to go up here and click on our split scene button and now you'll see we've got two scenes right here. We can go to this first one and click on the scissors for cut scene and get rid of it. Now then we're going to want to go to where he has tried his coffee and says that he likes it. But just before he picks up that blue thing. And here's something that's going to come in handy. I've already gone through this project and seen where I want to do all the edits. But to fine tune it just like you would in an analog suite you have a shuttle button. So let's okay I want to cut it right after I say you do and that's going to be our first scene. So here's our first scene and here's the rest of the project and something you'll notice here as you cut scenes you have your entire project timeline right down here and there's going to insert a white line wherever there's scenes make it easier for you to do the all around position finding so what we're going to want to do next is go to the scene where Ian really does not want to try the coffee There we go. Split that scene. And now, scene we want, scene we are going to get rid of that's in the middle. So we cut the scene. Now here we are back here. And I want to stop just as he gets his sucker, or Popeyes, whatever that thing was. And we're going to split the scene there. We're going to head back up here, and Aiden does this funny little jumpy thing right there. So I'm going to split that. So, scene one, there's that. We don't want this bit, so we trim it. So we're back to Aiden jumping. And he tries some more coffee. And that is going to be a good place to end it. So, let's click on the split scene again. And since we're ending, this part right here is what we want to get rid of. Now then, something I want to show you that I can't really get into here because when the record my desktop is going, it doesn't let me do it. But all you have to do if you wanted to do these out of sequence is drag and drop. And it will move out of sequence if you're not capturing your desktop at the moment. So now we have got what we want. Let's go add our transitions and our effects. Click on the FX tab and we go over to our FX. So we're going to want to do, let's do a video transition between these two clips. Now here's where it gets a little weird. We go to our video transition. Let's select a dissolve. You have choices of going forwards or reverse. 
So if we were doing reverse, we would be, well, let's go ahead and do a reverse. We're going to fade from something to something. We will fade from this color here. You have choice to do frames following, which is going to be whatever your clip is after the B video, or a color. Let's do black. Since we're doing reverse, this will fade from black to our clip. Now, it's good to go ahead and put in an audio transition. Crossfade is good to uh, get any pops or whatever out. Now here's where it's tricky. If you do it like this, this is going to do the entire clip uh, fading from black to the clip. You have to limit it to either the closing or the opening. We're going to limit it to the opening one second of our clip. And we go down here and we click render. And it's going to black out a little bit and it's going to render it. The render is done as a separate DV file in your home directory. So it is going to register as another clip. Now if we go back here to edit, And we fade in from black. Back to our effects. Now we want to limit to the closing of this clip. We want to fade forward from this to the frames following, which is going to be the next clip. And let's go ahead and leave that crossfade in there just to make the audio nice and neat. We'll render that.